on the only Matthew Schuler from The Voice. <laughs> Congratulations, uh, you were top six on The Voice. Yes, I was. Yeah, it was it was an amazing experience. Like there's there's nothing you, can, you can't even put it in the words. Like you know, I had an awesome time on there. And I, so tell me about the experience uh, from start to finish. How did you get involved in that? Really, to be honest, I, I was a sophomore at Westchester University, and um, my parents, you know, actually my dad, he really encouraged me to just take a chance. You know, I had an opportunity to uh, to audition for the show. I went out to the open call in uh, in New York. It was about like ten thousand something people who were there that week, and and it's it's a miracle that I, that I made it through. You know, past that round, and then past the next round, and the next round, and finally get to the blind auditions. You know, it was it's a tough process to get through, but it was amazing. Well, they could hear the miracle that is your voice, yeah. right? I've been really blessed, Angela. We are so excited to have you here to perform. I know a lot of our residents here are excited to hear you perform. What are you singing tonight? I'm singing Hallelujah. Yes! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. That performance was so amazing. It was, it was a blessing to sing. It's literally one of the best songs ever written, in my opinion. You know, it's just, it's a beautiful song about struggle, you know, and that, you know, even in the brokest state of mind, you know, I will still sing Hallelujah. You know, and that's, that's kind of the message I want to I give to people throughout my music, my original stuff too, you know, just to uplift people. Absolutely. So you are from Yardley. Yes, yeah. Am, yeah. So you're a Bucks County resident. Yeah. Um, what was growing up in Bucks County like for you? Bucks County, it's it's a beautiful place. You know, it's we definitely had had our you know our space and you know we had time you know run around you know have fun. You know, me and my brother and my little sister and we had a lot of friends. We lived in, in Levittown for about ten years and then um and I moved up to Yardley and uh you know both both environments were just amazing for my for my upbringing. You know my parents like they work hard to to provide for us. So it's it's been an amazing place to grow up. Wonderful. So you went to Pensbury High School, yes, right? I did, yeah. And I heard you were part of the acapella group there. Talk about your experience <laughs> yeah. at Pensbury High School and maybe what uh, that added to your music career. Yeah, Pensbury, man, it's it was like a training ground. You know, I had so much fun, so many amazing, you know, friendships that were made out of that school and and relationships that still thrive on today. Um, but yeah, I was a part of what the Alpha Falcons we called ourselves. <laughs> so it was so much fun. Out of uh, it was a few guys out of the chamber choir, you know, in uh, in Pensbury. I um I did crown and concert choir you know my junior and senior year and then um and then chamber choir my senior year as well even gotten involved in a few plays it was a lot of fun you know i played football all four years and I don't know, it was, it was an amazing experience. Pensbury, I mean, there's like 4,000 kids there. Yeah. So like, it's like a small college. So, you know, you, you always have the opportunity to meet new people. And, you know, it was, it was just, it's a great school. I love it. I mean, they supported me so much throughout this whole experience. They must be so incredibly proud of you right now. Yeah, I can't crazy. even imagine. Yeah. <laughs> so one thing we notice about you is, is you have a beautiful smile. Mm -hmm. You smile through your singing. What, what's going through your mind? I mean, the song Hallelujah, you, you talked about that, but, but what's going through your mind when you're, when you're showing that beautiful smile with that beautiful voice yeah I guess um it definitely does depend on the song you know and um with every song that I do sing I try to try to attach my own you know heart and you know my own experiences to it you know and, and, and try and you know step into like how I can touch someone with this song you know I try to like take it out of myself and kind of put myself in, in the audience's place you know because you know music has the power to change lives it helps people you know and, I, and I, that's what I want to do with my with my music so I always look at it from the angle like how can I give the best performance that can encourage someone or that can help someone out? So Absolutely. I guess that's kind of what's going through my mind most of the time. <laughs> Great. Cool. So where do you go from now? For now, you know, you, you, you got off the voice. It's probably been a whirlwind for you. What's next? What is what is your biggest dream? Yeah, my biggest dream is is, is to have my music, you know, touch the world. You know, I've been doing a lot of writing and um, and it, it's been a blessing. You know, a few things have, have definitely come my way. Like right after the voice, I got to perform at a fundraiser down in Jamaica um, with Tess Ant, uh, the winner of the voice. She was there. Neo was there. Damian Marley was there. What? Who else? Sean Paul was there. It was it was an amazing experience. And um, and me and Shaggy, we actually after you know that that collaboration with the concert, we actually collaborated on a song that comes that actually came out April eighth. So it's called Loving You. And um, yeah, it's it's been a blessing. You know, little things like that. You know, that turned into huge things. And uh, I'm really excited about that. I've been doing a lot of writing, and my original stuff will be coming out real soon. So. That is so exciting. So are you hoping to make a record then? Definitely, definitely. You know, it, I've got like ideas for a concept album, just a lot of really, really cool stuff going on in here. So. Yeah. But I, I want to share it with everyone, you know. And what are the things that you like to write about the most? Ah, oh, man. I don't know. I definitely want to be a storyteller. I want to like... I don't know, enhance people's imaginations and stuff. I'm, I'm drawing inspiration from things like the Chronicles of Narnia and like Lord of the Rings and stuff. Those guys who are just amazing storytellers, you know, who, who have these analogies for things that are just, I don't know, just otherworldly, you know, it's amazing. So I definitely want to tap into that and just um, want to write about, you know, kids, you know, people, you know, us living our lives and, you know, trying to, trying to figure out, you know, what this is all about, you know, and, and, and just trying to, I don't know, stay up and stay encouraged and 
you know, win, basically. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. On. Well, we are so proud of you. We're so happy to have you perform. We can't wait to see it. Thank you so much, and congratulations. Thank you, Lauren. <laughs>